Hazard identification is the basis of risk management. In this video, we will learn about the basics of hazard identification in aviation. ICAO has defined hazard as a conditional object with the potential of causing injuries to personnel, damage to equipment or structures, loss of material, or reduction of ability to perform a prescribed function. Identifying hazards. Pilots can use several ways to identify hazards. Pre-flight planning, visual observation, onboard equipment, radio communication, and post-flight inspections. Pilots often use combinations of methods for hazard identification. PAVE Checklist. It provides a means to identify hazards, focusing on pilot, aircraft, environment, external pressures. Using this checklist before flight, pilots can capture most of the hazards. Pilot Hazards. Hazards associated with pilot can be classified in terms of capability and aeromedical factors. Pilot's capability relates to on-type, qualification, currency, proficiency and skill. Aeromedical factors related to pilot hazards are famously known as IM Safe Checklist. Comprising Illness Are you sick? Medication Are you taking medicine? Stress Are you stressed out? Alcohol Did you take any intoxicant? Fatigue Are you fatigued or tired? Eating Are you properly nourished? Aircraft hazards are related to performance and equipment. Performance factors are fuel, range and endurance, takeoff and landing performance, altitude performance, payload capability, weight and balance. Equipment factors are redundancy, autopilot, or flight controls, inoperative equipment. Environmental hazards includes natural and man-made hazards. Weather factors are thunderstorms and microbursts, aircraft icing, low cloud ceiling, low visibility and fog, turbulence and winds. Terrain factors are hills and elevated terrain, density altitude, over water operation. In man-made environmental hazards, operating facilities include airports or runway conditions, runway contamination, heliports and seaplane bases. Operating airspace includes prohibited and restricted areas, ATC delays and service availability, air traffic density and collision, VFR and IFR operations. Lastly, external pressures. These originate from a variety of reasons, affecting pilots' decision-making ability. Commonly there are three main categories. Personal, like get home it is, operational demands by management, in-flight emergency situation. We can summarize that PAVE checklist is a structured tool which can be used to identify hazards associated with flying operations. Using this checklist, most of the hazards can be identified and managed. Adopt PAVE checklist in routine operations and manage risk of incidents and accidents. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more safety videos. Press bell icon for regular notifications.